Oh, slow down, Mr. Fox. I can't believe I've just done that. It's not me putting you off, is it? I'm only sending some emails. I'm not here to check up on you. Absolutely useless today. Nina, it's just some crockery. Mind you, if Roy came in right now, uh, he'd have something to say about it, wouldn't he? That was a joke, by the way. Why, why would he? Have you heard from him? Sorry? You have, haven't you? You've heard from him? Oh, all right. He replied to my six millionth email. Has something bad happened? No. No, he just... He gave me his landline number, so I called it. How is he? What did he say? He's all right, Nina. Well, as far as I can fathom, you know. Why didn't he call me? He's going to call you tomorrow. For Christmas. In hand? What? No, I'm, I'm fine. Honestly, you just stay there. So everything OK? Everything is fine. Are you sure? Positive. I will see you tomorrow, won't I? I don't do Christmas, and I certainly don't do Christmas this year. But Kelly won't be with us. No, she'll be with Inman and Toya. I'm really sorry. There you are. Hey, I meant to say earlier, what are you doing for Christmas Day? Very little. OK, well, um, where will you be? Please don't worry about me. I'm going to be on my own, and that is where I want it. All right. Why is it so hard for folk to accept I don't do Christmas? I haven't said anything. I'm just going to catch one of my college work, and according to you, Roy said he might call me. OK, but... Why don't you come and spend Christmas Day with me, eh? And the Barlow Posse. I mean, we're going to the bistro to eat, and uh, you could always come by after you call from Roy, couldn't you? Did you not listen to anything that I just said? Oh, come on, the plaques are going to be there. Ooh, that swings it. Oh, tell me, Gail's going to be there. All right, if you change your mind. It's doubtful. <laughs> <laughs>